competition should be more concerned about us than we are of them. Rebecca O'Donovan, 7 News. Today was a very special event on the telethon calendar. The day last year's record-breaking total was handed out to those who need it most. The Prime Minister was just one of the many special guests at today's event. Samantha Jolly reports. It was only fitting children kicked off today's celebrations. $20.7 million was raised at Telethon last year. Today it was divvied up to more than 40 beneficiaries. An extraordinary privilege to be part of a country which has such a good heart. And the Prime Minister got to see WA's generosity firsthand with a tour of the Telethon Kids Institute, where world class breakthroughs have helped so many. Look, Sam, it's been a very moving, beautiful, uplifting day, and it's a real honour for me to be part of it. Paul Edmondson was one grant recipient. He's part of a charity that helps children with cerebral palsy, like his daughter Yana, get biomechanical rehabilitation, not previously available here. Without this, um, our charity couldn't um, bring ABR therapy to Perth. Uh, we'd have to all travel to Singapore to get the therapy done. To be able to be here today and actually distribute all the money, fulfil the promise to the people of Western Australia from the telethon and to see it go to these worthy beneficiaries. And today's event was the last official function for the 2013 telethon kids, Jack and Talia. It was such an overwhelming feel feeling of being able to help so many different people. The search is now on for this year's Telethon Kids. The big weekend starts October 25. Samantha Jolly, 7 News. And still to come, we ask Adam Simpson how he's changing the...